And welcome back to Resident Evil. We have returned. Yeah, and so we've gotten a couple of gems, we've gotten the jewelry box, and, and so a now, shotgun. And a shotgun. But for the for the purposes of the puzzle, we want to put the red gem in the jewelry box and solve <laughs> a little puzzle. Is that the Umbrella Corporation logo? It could be. It's the Templars. Oh. It's always the Templars. Wow, so much to explain now. <laughs> Umbrella Corporation, Templars, you do the math. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, while we're doing this, mm -hmm. um, I recently got to sit down and uh, watch a movie that I've been curious about for a little while. What movie did you watch? Uh, it's called Crimson Peak. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, by Guillermo del Toro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I like him. Uh, so, some of his movies go a little bit beyond me, but this one I really liked. I know it got a lot of like mixed reviews and, right. and stuff, um, but I kind of dig it because it it doesn't rely on the the jump scares it relies more on the you know subtle scares and the unnerving sure kind and i also really like that in the first few minutes if you just like register what the characters are saying it tells you what kind of movie it's going to be <laughs> right uh because the uh, the main character um edith uh played by mia i, I don't know if i'm pronouncing her last name correctly but uh uh Malokowski, I think. Um, Sounds good to uh, me. Malowski, whatever. Um, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, if you don't know that. Um, she uh, she wants to be a writer. And she's actually written a story and is having someone look over it. And uh, the editor goes, Oh, you've written a ghost s story. She goes, No, uh, it's a story with ghosts in it. And that's exactly what the movie becomes, because, you know, it's not necessarily about the ghosts, it's about the characters that happen to be surrounded by the ghosts. Oh, gotcha. we found a key! Mm-hmm, mm hmm we found a little brooch key. Nice. And you are right, because if we examine it, it has the Spencer family. Ooh. Which is as old as Raccoon City. Ah. But no, no, fin finish what you wanted to say about the, uh, the... Uh, but, 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 yeah, uh, I know it got a lot the of mixed reviews, but um, I I personally really enjoy it because like it reminds me of some of the older movies, yeah. like uh, the house uh, uh, the house on haunted hill. Sure. And um, the, the, the the first one. Right? Yeah, the, the original. Uh, and uh, the original version of um, the haunting. Uh, because. Poltergeist. Yeah, pol poltergeist stuff like that. Because oh, it's just chilling. It, 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 a story here. Honestly, you're just being rude. You wanna be. <laughs> just. Ugh. You wanna be, uh, Killer Croc. Good old reptile man. Alright, what's our. What's our. Help? Caution. Yeah, what you want? I'd say anyone else got a problem? Yes. Oh, there he is. What is it with these creatures and their <laughs> hatred of glass? <laughs> they don't like class at all. The dogs, the sharks, the hunters. <laughs> like, does the T-Virus just automatically make you, like, prone to dis dislike windows and glass? And glass and everything. Ah, uh, it's possible. <laughs> that, that's one of the side effects. Well, Are just, you constantly yeah. breaking your windows, <laughs> your vases? <laughs> Uh, you may be infected by the T-Virus. Yeah. <laughs> Warning signs include rotting flesh, sharp teeth, hatred of glass. <laughs> <laughs> the health warning loses a little bit out after that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, someone's phone's ringing. Eh, ah, can't be that important. Eh. Ah. I don't think this music's copyrighted, so I think we're fine. <laughs> But, um, yeah, anyway, uh, the movie. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it actually has, uh, Tom, uh, Hiddleston in it, uh, and for those of you listening who don't recognize that name, Loki in The Avengers. Um, he's such a terrific character actor, and, um, I actually found out that, um, Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, was actually supposed to play the lead role in Crimson Peak, 
Really? And uh, because of... Uh, uh, oh, now someone's calling me. Uh -oh. oh, it's another one of the 8-bit players. Let's let's see if he wants to be recorded. No, he doesn't want to be Hello? Taking a phone call. Hi, what's up? So unprofessional. <laughs> Alright, kids. So we're in the tiger room here. So we're going to put in okay. the gems and the eyes. And we're going to get little presents. And so present number one is an MO disc. If. And so we might need that MO disc later. Not right now. Not right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we're actually recording right now, so I'll, I'll do that as soon as we're done recording, okay? Okay, so, 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 so say hi to everyone. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. It's so unprofessional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The worst. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We'll 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 talk a little bit, okay? The video is falling apart. Okay, here, bye. Folks. Everything's falling apart. That was that was another one of the eight bit players, uh, Matthew. So, yeah, <laughs> he's like, "What are you talking about? What what do you mean? What do you mean? Are, is like someone standing next to you listening?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kinda. Jesus. Oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got our uh, presents from the tiger. Okay. Uh, oh, a, a tiger gave us gifts? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like the never-ending story. So we uh, we inserted those uh, those gems. I'm going to block my way through. Apparently. All right. You... What was I saying before the phone rang? Uh, you're talking about Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. Um. About how busy he's been of yeah. late. Yeah, he, uh, he uh, because of uh, scheduling reasons, he wasn't able to, to be the lead character in Crimson Peak. And um, apparently, uh, he and Tom are actually really good friends in real mm -hmm. life. And uh, Tom, uh, after being, like, three days after uh, Benedict pulled out, he uh, called him up and said, Hi, uh, I've been offered this role. Um, would it be okay if I did it? Yeah. You know, just kind of common courtesy thing. And then, and apparently then it goes, no, actually, there would have been, there was no one else I'd be more okay with replacing me. <laughs> That's cool. Which I think is really awesome, because that just shows, like, the level of respect that you, sure. that can be had between friends. It's like, look, you know that job you didn't get, or that you had, but then left? Do you mind if I pick that up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when you know, it, it, it's cool to, to think about the, the common courtesy that... You know that those guys, you know, actors or whatever, you know, have between each other. Yeah, because so many times, like you think, like it'd be like cutthroat and sure. You know, it's every man for himself. So to, like, find out, like, no, no, I wanted to make sure he was okay with it before I did this, because <laughs> I actually want to keep him as a friend. <laughs> All right, and we are going to once. Yeah, and uh, Ben Cumberbatch has been like. Really busy the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah, because he's in BBC Sherlock. Yeah, he, he's in Sherlock. He was the voice of Smaug in, in the Hobbit trilogy. Yeah. Um, he was doing Star Trek. Star Trek. And uh, he and actually, I know this is dating it a little bit, but he's actually in theaters right now with Doctor Strange. So he's joining the Marvel universe. Um. So. Wow! I just realized it. What? He's uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is now in the Marvel Universe, which means he and Loki can bump into each other. Mm. Can you say Infinity Wars is going to be even more awesome <laughs> if that was even possible? <laughs> All right, and so as you might have seen while you were listening to Cameron, mm -hmm. uh, we're going with a, a very heavy loadout here. Okay. Because we may be going into a boss fight next. And so... Oh, lovely! And so we are going to end this episode a little short. Okay. With the promise of in the next episode, we're going to be fighting a boss. Oh, goody, 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 goody. And so we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Later. <laughs>